ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಏನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ವಡೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ವಡೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಐ ಹೋರ್ಡ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಬಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ವೀಟಿಶ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟೊಮೆಟೋದು ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ದಟ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾವು ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ವಡೆ ಬೊಂಡಾ ಸೂಪ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋ ಬನ್ಸ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋ ಬನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರೆಡಿನೆಸ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬನಾನಾ ದಟ್ ಐಮ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೋಕ್ that bonda almost give it a bath with that dal soup how much is your lunch price rate 35 35 rupees elli sikate nimge 2 rupees ittkondre belage tindi madhyana uta ratri uta bere en beda so we've stepped out today to help a small business and this is in padmanabh nagar in south bengaluru It's fairly new but I've received a few suggestions recommendations on the place and they do one or two dishes that are rather close to my heart so I said let's find out what this eatery which is called Brahmin's Veg Corner a tiny little eatery in a narrow by lane of Padmanabh Nagar in South Bengaluru is all about let's find out Namaskar ಅಪೇಕ್ಷಾ ಅಪೇಕ್ಷಾ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೃಪಾಲ ಮನ್ನ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಗೊತ್ತು ಸರ್ ಯಾರ ಗೊತ್ತಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಚಿಕ್ಕ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ತುಂಬಾ ಖುಷಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ನೀರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಹೋಗಿ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಊಟ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗ್ತೇನೆ ಇವರು ಬನ್ಸ್ ತಿಂತ ಇದಾರೆ ಏನದು ಬೊಂಡಾ ಸೂಪ್ ಸೊ people yeah. told me they do the mango buns here the mango buns is a dish that's very close to my heart there are a few places in bengaluru that do the mango bun but i said let's find out what the mango bun here is all about <laughs> tea kudithiya uppitta tinda mele coffee kudiyale beko ah so they are these kannada ah kannada bhaktaru actually they are these kannada catch phrases they say they are kannada bhaktaru ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ಬಾತ್ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಡೈಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಇವತ್ತೇನಿದೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ಬಾತ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪೈನಾಪಲ್ ಇದೆ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದು ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ನಾನು ಇವಾಗ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ವರ್ಕ್ 1 and 1/2 ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದು ಇಂಟರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ನನಗೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಸೊ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಕೂಡ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅನೂಪ್ ಅನೂಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅವರು ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಇಬ್ರೂ ಬೇಡ ಒಂದೇ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸೊ ಎಷ್ಟು ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರ ನೀವು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಜನಗಳೇ ಈ ಕಡೆ ತಿರುಗಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಒನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಭಯ ಆಗೋಯ್ತು ಏನಪ್ಪ ಇದು ಅಂತ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆಯಿಂದ ತ್ರೀ ಓರ್ಗು ಓಪನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒಂದ್ ಸಾವಿರ ಕಾಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ 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 ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಮೌತ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಸಿಟಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಮದ್ದೂರ್ ವಡೆ ಉದ್ದಿನ ವಡೆ ಬನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಇದೇನೋ ಬೊಂಡಾವಾ ಬೊಂಡಾ ಸೂಪ್ ಇದು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಗಂಗಾಧರ್ ಅವರು ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಬಹಳ ಯಂಗ್ ಕಾಣ್ತಿದ್ರೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ನೀವು ರೆಸಿಪೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಯಾರ್ದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ 
ಕೇಸರಿ ಬಾತ್ ಖಾರಾಬಾತ್ ಇದೆ ಮಸಾಲ ಖಾರಾಬಾತ್ ಬೋಂಡಾ ಸೂಪ್ ಗೆ ಅದೇನು ದಾಲ್ ಆದ ದಾಲ ಮೂಂಗ್ ದಾಲ್ ಇದೆ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಇನ್ನು ನಿಮ್ದು ರೆಸ್ಟೋರೆಂಟ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ದೊಡ್ಡದಿದೆ ಒಳಗೆ ಇದೆ ಆಚೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಆಚೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಒಂದು ಯಾವ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇರ್ಲಿ ಟೆನ್ ಬೈ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ವೈಸ್ ದಿ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕಿಚನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅಲೌಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡಿಶಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡನ್ ಯುರ್ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಬಾತ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಅವಲಕ್ಕಿ ಬಾತ್ very nice i like the way things are kept neat and organized but whenever there's a lady behind any enterprise i think that makes a huge difference nima prakar en try madbeku illi first idli vada sambar idli vade sambar sambar bage i heard a lot ha yake eshtu super special ha yake seniors bandre morning bandre miss ilde ond idli single idli ಮನೆ <laughs> ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಟಿಫಿನ್ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸೌತ್ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಟಿಫಿನ್ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ನಿಮ್ದು ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಸೌತ್ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ ಇದಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ಕುಂದಾಪುರ್ ಓ ನೀವು ಕುಂದಾಪುರ್ ಅವರು ಆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ನರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೋ ದಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ವಡೆ ಕೇಸರಿ ಬಾತ್ ಖಾರಾಬಾತ್ ನಾನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕೇಳಿದೆ ಅದು ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂತು ಹಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬೋಂಡಾ ಸೂಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂತು ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಫಿಗರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಶಿವ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಹೂ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕುಂದಾಪುರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ವಿ ಗೋಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಬೋಂಡಾ ಸೂಪ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ಯುರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅನೂಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯು ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ್ ವೇ Christ University. Oh, you are working in Christ University? As an assistant professor. As an assistant professor. So, engineers are now serving idli, vade, bonda soup, mangalore buns. So, even he is an engineer. Also in the construction business, but they all want to serve idli, vade. And thankfully for us, some mangalore buns and bonda soup too. So, you are still working. Yes. Yeah, you have your business. Yeah. And uh, you are the one holding the baby. Yeah. So to speak. Quality, yeah. quantity. ಆತ್ಮತೃಪ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ನನಗ್ ತಿಂದು ನಾನ್ ಬೆಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಬಂದು ಇದೇ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾರ್ನು ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಬಂದು ಊಟ ಮಾಡಿ ಕರ್ಡ್ ವಡ ತಿಂದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬಂದು ಪಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಸೊ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಸಾಯಂಕಾಲ ಟಿಫಿನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ರೈಸ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ನಾವು ಹೋಮ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಪಿಕ್ಕಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಪಾಪಡ್ ಸೊ ರೈಸ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಪಿಕ್ಕಲ್ ಪಾಪಡ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಂಚ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕತ್ತೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಹದಿನೈದು ರೂಪಾಯಿದು ಮ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋ ಬನ್ಸ್ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ತಿಂಡಿ ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಊಟ ರಾತ್ರಿ ಊಟ ಬೇರೆ ಏನ್ ಬೇಡ on that note i think we should begin our tindi year at brahmin's veg corner fantastic that aroma of that sambar has already said a hello to me mm i can smell the aroma of that masala also some hingu adrali ha huh? oh this is a sambar that borders on the sweetish ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟೊಮೆಟೋದು ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ಕೂಡ ದೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಜಾಗ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಫರ್ವ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ಮಸಾಲ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಉದ್ದಿನ ರೇಷೋ ಏನಿದೆ ಮೂರು ಇಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಅಂದರೆ this is an idli where you can taste the gari
ಒಂಚೂರು ಹುಳಿ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದ ಹುಳಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಹುಣಸೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಯು ಬೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಪಲ್ಪಿನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೊಮೆಟೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವೈಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಾದ ಎಂಗೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಣಸು ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಏನು ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಬ್ಯಾಡಗಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಲರ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಡ್ಯೂಲ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಯಲಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿ ಯು ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಗುಂಟೂರ್ ಬಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಯಾಡಗಿ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮ್ಯಾನೋ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಾಂಬಾರ್ ರೆಸೋನೇಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ವೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಎಜ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಟೊಮೆಟೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಜಾಗರಿ and then some way you tasting the huli the huli that comes the sourness that comes from the tamarind and the tomatoes also perhaps add to it and then you have the gentle warmth of the byadgi mensin kai that lingers on your tongue so this isn't a sambar which is thick with too much lentils nuge kai idu adaktira olege do ha so typically when it comes to the breakfast sambar you got the lentils and then they also fortify it with a few other things i learned that some people use the kernels of the drumstick to actually thicken the sambar whereas in the case of the uta to sambar it isn't as sweet because they don't add the jaggery into it and there's also plenty of vegetables that go into it to fortify that sambar after all the uta to sambar is supposed to play an important role in a major meal mm. the vade is all right not the hottest so i guess if you were to come here and find that vade really hot it would probably appeal to you in a slightly different manner but right now the vade has cooled down because even my sambar has cooled down as i was relishing it with that idli so that vade feels a bit stodgy and there's more sambar that has come some busy busy sambar i like the manner in which the tomato is cut rather generously so although it reduces while cooking in that sambar busy ide busy ide idlike aagta illa so although it reduces while cooking in that sambar you still get a generous chunk to bite on mm you know i was so taken in by the sambar that i have not paid any attention to that papa chutney that is sitting on the side this is the mint chutney the pudina chutney you've got that slight graininess of the coconut but there's also plenty of the puttani that goes into it there's a bit of the seasoning that comes from the sasve and also the toastiness of the curry leaf that you taste and i'm sure there's also some green chili that goes into it to give it that prick of heat savor some of that vade with the chutney and sambar hmm the chutney also helps cut down some of the sweetness of the sambar if you have the sort of palate that isn't too welcoming of a sweetish sambar mm some coconut there in the udden vade you know when apeksha told me there are senior citizens who come here and have two or three ladles of the sambar i can relate to it because normally in agate the sambar is there but the sambar plays a supporting role edu idli sambar vade nalli hero sambar or the heroine depending on what gender you decide to attribute to the sambar but of course this is a sambar that is oriented that is predisposed towards the jaggery sweetness so if you are the sort that doesn't relish that sort of a sambar i would recommend have plenty of the chutney in every dunk of the idli and sambar in fact towards the end that sambar almost feels like a bit of a dessert next en kodtira iga well we have our buns here and out here the buns are served not with a sambar but with a sagu and i think it makes sense because the buns would be sweetish by themselves buns really en hogate what goes into the buns basically it's a ripe banana the riper the banana the better the bun there is also some sugar that goes in but the amount of sugar that goes in depends on the sweetness of the banana so the banana that you see where the skin is completely stained and gone black that's the sort of banana that is best utilized in the making of the manglo bun so it's the banana a little bit of sugar depending on the sweetness of the banana some yogurt and then of course the maida well i'm rather keen to taste the buns but i think the next time 
when I come here, I'm going to find out when the bun emerges out of the tawa. How time is the bun ready normally? Morning uh, 9. Morning 9, 9 and evening? 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. So, this time is there, 6 o'clock. So, the buns they make and they keep it. So, therefore, the bun has cooled down a bit. And what they do is also stain the inside of the bun with some turmeric. So, the reason why they call it a bun is that the texture of the buns on the inside is rather bready. And that's because they prepare the dough and they allow it to rest for about 5, 6 or 8 hours depending on the ambient temperature. So, that allows for it to rise. And of course, there's also a bit of baking soda that goes into it because after all, it has to rise like bread. What's interesting here though is the turmeric. You don't typically find turmeric in most buns. I'm trying to visualize this. Had I tasted this steaming hot, where I break into the bun and out escapes a wisp of steam that's trapped inside. Because the flavors that I'm tasting are certainly the sort that leave behind an impression on the palate. What's important in a bun is to get that right texture, that breadiness. Because if you don't get this, it is nothing but a banana sweetened puri. The real mango bun has to have that breadiness. Mm. I love the flavor of the banana that I'm tasting. Idrali matra new jiri ke akala. Hak de rao. I haven't got that cumin on my bite yet, but that's a typical combination. So you have the sweetness that comes from the bananas and the sugar. You've got some cumin that goes in, that basically arrests the sweetness of that sweetened banana on your palate. Let's taste it now with that Bombay Sagu. Thankfully, the Sagu is, is more than warm. Mm, that's an interesting sort of a combination because you've got the sweetness in that bun and then that sagu is rather savoury. Savoury and then you also have a bit of the heat from the green chilli in that. So typically in a Bombay sagu, they also thicken it with a bit of the roasted gram powder. To be honest, it's a combination that has to perhaps grow on you. So for somebody who's from South Canada in Mangalore, with the buns, it's only some coffee. Haan, Shiv Kumar, Aru, Kundapur, Ali, Allah, buns nate, buns nate, coffee, chai, ashte, Allah. But the only new sagu, Allah, ek esa mar tera. Sagu mar. Ah? Bangalore salpa jasti. Bangalore ali beko salpa jasti. In South Canada, we are content folks. Kain ali on bun kodi, bere kain ali on coffee kodi, ashte, aram. Tea. Tea. No coffee. Ah, tea. Ah, you need tea beko, nange coffee beko. That's all that you need. Hmm. Next time when I come here, I'm going to call you and say, "Nan banda mele, ban oil nali haki." Because once the bun cool down, it also loses a bit of its scrumptious character. But I guess when you're tasting it with the sagu and chutney, it perhaps doesn't matter as much. Breakfast today, masala karabat with kesri. मतलब सोल्पा हाँ के हाँ सोल्पा अंदर उन दोन स्पून। Well, this is a bonus from the house here. Although my next dish would have been the bonda soup, but they insisted that I should taste their special kara baat, kesri baat, and the aulaki baat. So this is basically the soaked beaten rice that is tempered with a bunch of things. Of course, I'm sure there's some turmeric that goes in that stains it yellow. You've got plenty of onions, you've got some green chilies, curry leaves, tomatoes. Plenty happening in this chikka plate here at Brahmin's Wedge Corner. Mm. That's a tasty uh, avlak ki baat. What I'm also liking is the crunch of the lentils, the uddana bele and also some putani I think that's gone into the tempering. And then that sweetness that comes in this case from the onions. So they basically roast the onions, they saute the onions first and they draw the sweetness of the onions out along with some green chilli. Because now you can also taste green chilli kuda nandu tangi ke halo elta hai You're only talking about the onion naan kuda hai ne and that's what I'm tasting now. The punch of the green chilli. And the peanuts conveyed a lovely nutty bite. Mm. This is an avlaki baat that is very home style. Maneli yaar maadi dare atara ansate. 
I think staying with a savoury, let's now go for that special karabat. This is the garam masala. Ah, gama gama flavour hodi ta hai So there is that seasoning, the spice mix that has gone into it. Mamuli karabat alla hai do. Masala karabat. Masala karabat. Hmm. So we chakki hai the. Lavanga biryani hai lagta ra. Ha? Aur heela la nange. But I can taste the warming spices in the masala karabat. There's some vegetables that have gone into it. I think perhaps some carrot etc. But the veggies have been pulverized to the extent that you're not able to decipher them. But what you can really decipher on your taste bud is the aromatic warmth of that garam masala, that homemade or uh, eatery made garam masala. But there's all kai kudai there. There's some grated coconut too that has gone into that. And now for that kesari bath. Ideally, this I should have been tasting at the end, perhaps with that jaggery coffee. But why not? Biting into that astringency of the cloves that has been soaked with that tuppa. There's plenty of pineapples too that you can see in this kesari bath. But because you've bitten into the clove right at the outset, what you're tasting more is the piquancy that comes from the cloves, that comes from the lavanga. The pineapple you can taste in its fibrous texture. I think next, the bonda soup. Thankfully, the dals and the sambars come to you piping hot. So the reason why it's called a bonda soup is quite apparent. You've got the bonda here, the uddana bonda, and then the dal, which is of the consistency of soup. And this is a dal that's made not with the togri bele, but with the moong dal. Soak that bonda, almost give it a bath with that dal soup. There's plenty that's happening in the dal. You got some garlic there, you got tomatoes, the curry leaves, some green chilies. Mm. You know, when I tasted the uddina vade, to me that vade felt a bit stodgy. And I was worried if the bonda too would suffer the same texture. Because when it comes to an uddina vade, you want it to be firm, yet porous enough to be accepting of that dal soup. You want that dal soup carrying the flavors of all the ingredients to seep into every pore of that bonda. And I must say that the bonda does just that. I've tasted numerous bonda soups. So I think the character of the soup changes. So in some cases you will find that the soup is very creamy. It has spicing but barely enough allowing for some of the flavours of the Uddana Bele in that Bonda to come through. Whereas out here this is a soup which has a lot going in it and in this case that Bonda serves as a vehicle to carry those flavours to your palate. I think also bit into a pepper there. So I've got that minor explosion of pepper heat. The first dish that I tasted here was all about the sweetness that emerged from the sambar in that bella and also the tomato. But this last or last but one dish that I'm tasting here, that dal is all about the heat that comes from the green chilli. And it's piquancy lengthened by the pepper that you will bite into every once in a while in that bonda. Well, this is not a dish that I ordered, but Apeksha and our team here felt that I should taste their curd vada. Yogurt is slightly sweet and tempered nicely. I think there's some curry leaves that have gone into that. Saswe kuda hai there. So you've got some sweetness in the curd from the sugar and then also the savory hit that you get from the curry leaves and the other ingredients of the yogurne. Mm. And I think this is just what I needed to quell some of the heat from that dal in that bonda soup. The bundi also provides a bit of a crunch. Although it has also soaked up some of the masuru, but all in all, with the sprightly freshness of the coriander that's sprinkled as garnish on top, works to round off your tiffin here at Brahmin's Wedge Corner. 
अरे नो बेला ऑर्गेनिक जैगरी सो योर कॉफी हर इज मेड विद ऑर्गेनिक जैगरी इधर लेस्टू चिकरी लेस्टू इधर 8820 8820 व्हाट आई लाइक इज अ रिस्ट्रेंट स्वीटनेस ऑफ द जैगरी सो ऑल्डो यू मे सी प्लेंटी ऑफ जैगरी गोइंग इनटू दैट कप एंड आई वाज वरीड फॉर अ मोमेंट इफ इट वुड बी क्लॉइंगली स्वीट ना इट्स नन ऑफ दैट आई थिंक जैगरी हैज दिस ब्यूटीफुल एबिलिटी टू कंबाइन अ सर्टेन अर्थीनेस विद इट्स स्वीटनेस एंड व्हेन पेयर्ड विद दैट डार्क रोस्ट 8020 कॉफी This is certainly a beverage that leaves behind an impression once you've finished your tiffin here at Brahmin's Wedge Corner. You know, we are in a tiny by lane in Padmanabh Nagar. To be honest, when I set out to visit this place, I didn't know what to expect because we'd received a couple of recommendations and because they included some dishes that touch my heart usually, I thought let's check it out. And having tasted the idli the vade with that lovely sambar the bonda soup the special khara bath kesri bath the aula ki bath and also the buns the manglo buns i must certainly say that this is a place that has potential it warms the cockles of my heart to see young professionals pursue their entrepreneurial dreams showcasing delicious culinary traditions of the land so i think if brahmins wedge corner stays focused on the food that they are doing and manage to do it consistently well i certainly feel this is an eatery that has promise not just for the present but also significantly more so in the future i hope you've enjoyed this tiffin outing until the next time take care stay safe stay strong and happy eating or drinking If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment below happy eating